So welcome back to Southeast Fishing, everyone. Yes, I know it's been a while. I know, I know, I know. I've been busy. I'm a dad. I've got lots of different things going on in my life now. My daughter's going to be one at the end of the week. So I decided to sell my home wave. I didn't want to keep it anymore. So I wanted to get something a bit bigger, something that I can go out a little bit further, push the boundaries even more. So I had a few in mind. I was looking at sort of Seahawks, I was looking at the Orkneys, I was looking at Warriors. Now I wanted something that had a bit of get up and go. I wanted something that I could take a few people out on. And I wanted something that wasn't going to cost me an absolute fortune. Now, yes, this boat did cost me quite a lot of money, but I've decided that I'm probably going to moor it. So I'm not going to trailer it round because that was my first idea. I'm going to look at getting the mooring. Anyway, enough about that. Do you want to go see it? Isn't she a beauty? Cool. So I'll give you a little tour round. It's sitting on a SBS braked trailer. The geezer before me has just replaced all the wheels. It's an Endeavour 500. She's clean, isn't she? Absolute beauty. So it's a 16 foot boat called Desperado. As you can see, not a mark on her. So I've got a nice 60 Mercury EFI on the back and it's got a lovely stainless four blade prop which has been put on it as well. It's already got all the transducer linked up. So to start off with, it's got everything on it already. It's got tablet holder, Raymarine fish finder. It's got your VHS set up here and it's connected to all the switches here. So we've got VHF, bilge pump, GPS, Navigation lights, anchor lights, spotlight. As you can see on the top. Look at this, so mint. So we've got the covers, we've got storage under there. So yes, yeah, a 16 foot boat. It's got a bench at the back. If you pull this up, like that. People can sit at the back. Lovely jubbly. Now we're talking. So it's got the rod holders in the sides. We've got two fuel tanks, one there, one there. Bilge pump, got a battery under there. It's got an isolated switch. So for those who don't know, basically I can put it off one or both or one or two. So they both get charged and yeah, I can just alternate between them. Let's put this back down. Gives you that little bit extra room, as you can see, for fishing. So yeah, it's a lovely little boat. Really, really like it. If I stand back here, I'll give you a little bit more view of how big it is. So obviously you've got the storage under each of the seats as well. And then you've got storage under the steering wheel. So what do you reckon? Do you like her? I sure do. It's gonna be a lot different, isn't it? A lot different from the sib. It's gonna take a lot of getting used to, don't get me wrong, but I think it was a good, a good buy. It means that I can take my daughter out, my fiance out, I can take a couple of mates out, I can do all sorts of stuff. I can go out a lot further. I don't know. I can go anywhere. <laughs> it's come with a trailer as well, so I can go down to Cornwall, go shark fishing. Just gives you that little bit extra comfort, and that's the main thing that I wanted. I didn't really care about like a, a bigger engine. My my home wave was quick, like. I just like the fact that I can be a lot more comfortable. For those of you that know that go out on a sib, 
it batters you. It takes it really out of you. You're holding on for dear life. You're getting bashed about. Hopefully with something like this, it will give me that little bit more comfort, which means I can in turn stay out longer. I can get out a lot more often. And especially if I have it in a mooring, it's going to be unreal. So one other thing that I want to point out, this boat has never been anti-fouled, not once. So if I am going to moor it, that is something that I'm going to need to do. So a couple of reasons why I got the boat, I had enough acid fishing. Like I said, it was very physical, carrying it down the beach, carrying it up the shingle. It's amazing, don't get me wrong, it's really, really good fun, but you just want to upgrade. Like everything in life, you buy a new phone or you buy a new car, and I just think it was time to upgrade. The main ones I wanted was a sea hog, and then I realised that I didn't really want that flat hull and it wasn't it was a lovely bow a lovely boat but i started moving more towards more in the boat and i think a sea hog sea jeep would have been perfect if i was keeping it on a trailer and going around the country because it's a lot lighter than this but because i decided that i'm gonna start more in it i think this was a better boat so i started to look at slightly bigger boats warriors orkneys explorer elites and the Endeavour 500. The reason why I got this particular one and not a Warrior, just because it come available. This was literally 30 minutes from my house. Some of the other boats were a bit hit and miss. They were a bit grubby. Now you can get something a bit cheaper and do it up. That's great. But you get what you pay for at the end of the day. And I paid that little bit extra for this, but it comes with the peace of mind that the person before me had looked after it. So a couple of things am I going to change? Obviously I've got my fish finder that I might switch up for this one. I don't know, I might keep that one. I'm definitely keeping this because I can put my Navionics on my tablet and it's all wired in. It come with some rod holders so I'm going to put them on here. It only come with two but I might put an extra two. So I then have four. I want to get a solar panel, stick it up here so it can charge my batteries. I want to get the the windows tinted now the guy that had this before he basically um, used to put a cover over here and it's been stored in a garage it hasn't been stored outside it hasn't been stored on a mooring so it's going to be stored on a mooring for me or on my drive so i need to get these tinted some uv protection i don't want all these covers to get done over by the sun oh one other thing so i want to get a live bait bucket set up down the back and uh, get some bait board connected onto this. A nice big one, I reckon. Not that I do much bait fishing, but it's always going to be handy, isn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed the little walkthrough. If you could do me a favour, leave a comment down below. What would you do to this boat if you got it? What's the first thing that you would do or add? Let me know and I'll pick one of the comments and I'll do just that. There's going to be a lot of content about this boat, upgrades, tweaks, I don't know. Everywhere I'll go in it, you'll see it. See you in a bit.